Please turn to page 21 of your textbooks. Never had one left. I just have to take this call. You find out things that is not that important. You are actually feeling someone else's pain right now. And the devils are really angels. Their ideas, expectations about who they think you are, should be cut the head off that snake today. If you don't start making your own decisions, putting your feet in your concrete, experiencing your own pain, it just gets poured over you. What are you talking about? Don't you see? See what? Otherwise, you won't even know what regrets are. Praying for glimpses of it. The moment before we pass through this life into the next. It's got to start today! What a freak! Tells you he works for Google or something. I was taking confession on another call. It all sounded like a terrible business with, with his mother and the Illuminati. What was that? Hello, everyone. Did you enjoy the Maximus? Isn't it brilliant? Ah, oh, what a showman. The dedication, it's inspiring. What's the Maximus? That was the Maximus. He is Maximus. Oh, he's a soul trader. The most in-demand professional warm-up presenter in the online training industry. Oh, everyone raves about it. I see. It was unusual. Well, online training is unorthodox. It's a brave new world. We're all just finding our feet. Just got my first computer this week. YouTube account, Wi-Fi. Well, welcome to the training session. I am Dr. Virginia Long. You may have seen me published under Long Bottom Strong. No relation, but I've cut out the Bottom Strong because it was a bit long. Many people call me Jeremy, or Snorts is fine also. <laughs> it was a medical condition from my youth that has largely dissipated. Now. There are no silly questions. Uh, the information I'm about to present to you is based on the latest statistical query trends, keywords and images, nuance and disruptions in online predictive behaviors. Look, Dr. Snorts. Professor Long is fine. Media? Is this all legal? Absolutely. Well, I'm just here to get a few more subscribers on my YouTube channel. Maybe some views for our weekly show. I want organic views, real people. Yes, of course. Straight to it. Currently, the most untapped hyper niche for organic results is human fed nursing thumbnails and titles. What's that? Breastfeeding? What's breastfeeding got to do with anything? Maybe I'm a bit over my head. The choir made me go solo. I put a video on YouTube. Uh, it's my first computer. Isn't that like soft porn? Yes, and try exploitative, voyeuristic, misogynistic, appropriation, chauvinistic, patriarchal, toxic masculinity, hedonistic, perverse, sinister? Sister Patrice said it would be good for the congregation. Strange. Just take a deep breath. I'm not talking about titillation or exploitation, no nipple showing. This is still PG-13. It's just implied, not shown. How do I fit a breastfeeding video into a men's only online YouTube bushwalking channel? Maybe the time has come for a bit of diversification and inclusiveness in your channel. We've only been going for three months. We're really meant to be a show for men only. What about women's days? Surely some of the men have female partners who either are mothers or are going to become mothers. Well, I can't really see it working for me. Why not? Lesbians against online bullying and harassment. You are women for a start. And I'm sure there must be some mothers amongst you. 
What exactly does your organization do? Well, we organize petitions, advocacy, provide support, go on marches and protests. It's impossible to imagine breastfeeding on a protest march. Hmm. <laughs> I can't think of a better place. Like, it's also not impossible to imagine men online trolling around looking for any excuse to see oversized breasts. Not all trolls are men. Oh, just the ones with internet connections. Hey. I must admit, I'm a little bit lost. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm doing here. I had a bit of a hit with WWMD. You might have heard of it on the community Christian youth radio show on a Sunday. I guess it got out of control with the YouTube and... Uh... Look, Father, I know what you think. I'm not here to embarrass you. Why are you writing songs? Music is a great passion of mine. It was becoming evident I was upstaging the church choir with my solo renditions of Kashmir. You might be aware our numbers have been dwindling over the last few years. Making matters worse, the local evangelical ministry has opened across the road and have full houses every week with rock bands. It's hard to compete. Breastfeeding during a service might just provide you with that progressive edge over the rock concert. My parishioners are primarily elderly and quite conservative. What's WWMD? What would Mary do? It's catchy. I'm an acoustic rock guy, but uh, I have a soft spot for Elton John. What would Mary do indeed? Breastfeeding whilst bushwalking. I mean, what a beautiful organic visual. I mean, that smells like real subscribers to me. Uh, I guess we could have a woman's day or a mom's weekend. Bubs in the bush? But wouldn't the channel just attract bulbs? Uh, probably. No one is really watching breastfeeding videos. After they've searched online for their prospective interest and they happen upon a breastfeeding video involving said interest, you will receive the organic subscription and like. I mean, these will be your people, but you're surreptitiously winning them over against your competitors, whether you like it or not. Just like Father said, it's a competition. It's still a reasonably cynical hook, isn't it? Not so cynical for Carby B, Tori Amos, and the Kingsman. The Kingsman? Really? This is Hang a Vietnamese cleaner at a shopping center in Hanoi. Her husband uploaded a video with a thumbnail of her breastfeeding her six-month-old son on a bus to YouTube so their relatives in America could see. Ten million views later, they just opened a restaurant in San Francisco. What? This is Ari. He's had a YouTube channel for many years, which is basically just reacting to other videos on YouTube. He's a 18-year-old who now lives on a Greek island after he moved away from his family because of the success of his channel. His most successful video? 25 million views and video of people breastfeeding. Bosh. No fear. He still pretends he lives in his parents' basement and employs a couple of actors to be his parents, but he now lives in a pool villa on the beach. They call him the King of Mykonos. Look, I know you guys don't care about the money side. Well, I never said that. A few extra dollars couldn't hurt. The parish is always looking for new streams of income. I have to confess something. I used to work for cable news organization. Each day, when we were sent out to find a story, our editor-in-chief told us not to report back unless our story contained one of the two Bs. What's the two Bs? Breasts or blood. If a story contained one of these two items, it would guarantee success that night on the news. A report containing both Bs and the subject was white? With community engagement, it could mean full syndication, Pulitzer awards, and the same rules still apply today after 30 years. I have... One final confession. It hasn't been long since your last confession. I have secretly been live streaming this entire training session on YouTube to solidify the theory. What? Well, how's it going? With the thumbnail of a woman about to breastfeed and the title Breastfeeding for Subs Tutorial, we have had over one million views and counting. My God, I mean, goodness. Wow. Oh, the comments have been going wild. Father Paul has his own fan page. Everyone thinks he's gay. Gideon has numerous marriage proposals, and you've been nominated for a host of humanitarian awards. There is a god. I do like Sting also. How do I look? Brilliant. All right, then. I'm all in. Can you tell us some more about the blood? Do it.